I've come for cuddles, hug me. <laughs> A tad sinister, I would say, Jimmy. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we are checking out something which I don't think I'm mentally prepared for. Literally, I don't think I'm smart enough to use this and I'm pretty sure it's made for eight years plus. It's not a good sign. Today we are checking out the Jimu Robot Tank Bot Kit by Oobtech. This little guy looks like Wally. He's the least frightening thing I've ever seen and still, I'm scared to do this unboxing. I think the thing that really scared me was the fact they've got like this little rating system there on the side which says Smarty, Whiskid and Brainiac. And this is the lowest one, it's for Smarties. And yet I still feel like I'm underqualified. It comes with building blocks which you can use to build your own robot and program your own robot. It's the first Jimmy robot to run on treads and has an infrared sensor which allows you to maneuver it around objects or pick up objects. All in all, it seems like a simple piece of kit, but for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. I'm removing the plastic seal. There's no going back now. It literally says there, ages eight plus. I can do this. Have confidence in yourself. You're not that stupid. Yeah, no one seemed confident in the room when I said that. Nice magnetic seal on the box there. And inside you've got an introduction to the robot as well as the app. And then you've got a few more details on there. Then if you just open this up, all your building blocks. Let's start with a quick start guide and there's even more boxes. Step number one is simply to install the Jimu app which you can get on the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. I'm getting it on the Google Play Store on my Samsung S7. So from there you can filter to the robot that you have. There are actually quite a few. Tankbot, difficulty, primary. Should be able to get this. I should be able to get this. In theory. And from there, it's going to download and load the manual that you're gonna to need to build the robot. This is how the robot's going to look. Will it look like that? It might. And then up there in the top right, you've got your build button. And from there, I should show you how to build this thing step by step with 3D models. So I'm gonna go ahead, go through this step by step and get this thing built. Fingers crossed, it won't take that long. I'm about a third of the way through building this thing now and I've got to say, this is quite enjoyable. I didn't expect to like the process as much as I am, but this is actually kind of therapeutic. Also, if you look on the app there, it is exactly how it looks in real life. It just makes the process so much easier so I can see why it's aged eight plus now. But honestly, if you're looking to build something and you don't want a challenge, this is, this is pretty good. I've added a few servo motors already. We've got the on and off button ready to go. I'm just wiring up a few bits. So I'm gonna power on with the last two thirds and get this thing built. Last step, done, completed, finished. All right, I'll be the first to say, I didn't expect to get this done today. And I don't think I would have gotten it done without the instructions on the app. This is such a good idea. Being able to see everything in a 3D world, being able to navigate around each part, see what you're doing, perfect. Much easier than Ikea furniture, let me tell you. So the first step to get this guy going is to connect it up via Bluetooth. So we've got the little bit on the back here, we just, Turn that on. And just like that, Jimmy is connected and ready to go. So you get your control panel here. Let's see if this actually works. I feel like I've missed something out, but let's give it a go. He moves. He's alive. Left. And then right there. You can actually be fairly precise with him. The last thing I want you to do is fall off our table. And there's a few other buttons on here and I'm not sure what they do. Let's hit this one. Aww. Come here. I've come for cuddles, hug me. <laughs> Don't be so forward, put those down. Like a praying mantis, he stalks his prey, and then strike. Very threatening, Jimmy. Very, very threatening indeed. Hey, that's the ticket. And then you can drive around. Now put down the box. Oh. Jimmy, Jimmy, you made a mess. They obviously designed this robot to be cute, but I'm amazed that even the sounds of this thing are cute. I think we've only scratched the surface of what you can do with it. So let's go ahead, put that box down. I respect your enthusiasm, but please put it down. Thank you. So as well as controls, you've also got coding, actions, and build. And build is what we use to get the instructions to build this guy. And then in actions, you've just got a few more bits that you can do, such as celebrate and spin. Let's give those a go. Let's get the box out of the way and let's see what he does with celebrate. Please do not fall off the table. That was, that was perfectly innocent, wasn't it? Now try spin and celebrate. Adorable. And also on the action panel, there's command, carry, and exercise. Now, I'm curious of what exercise does. Well, 
Wow, Jimmy, I didn't know you had it in you. Gosh, he's flexible. If you couldn't tell already, I haven't actually had much experience with robots, so I'm loving this. Which says a lot when it's for eight pluses and I'm still getting a real kick out of it. I'm just easy to please, apparently. Or I have the mind of an eight-year-old. Why not both? Here you can track the battery and we are very low on battery, this guy. We've got one block left. So let's see if there's anything else that we can do before it runs out. On the coding section here, there's variables, math, sensors, show, control, moves, event. There is so much to show on here. We can't show you all this, but it is so customizable. You can do so much with this little guy. And if you're just getting into programming, you want to get something for your kid, this is a really good little starter pack. Everything about this is just easy to use, easy to pick up, and you can just get straight into building and programming. It's just fantastic. Unfortunately, there's a load of things on this app which we don't have time to show you today, but as a quick rundown, this thing is super fun and easy to build. It's a great introduction to programming. It's adorable. And the presets that already come on the app are enough to keep your kids entertained. And if we want to make any more, it's just all those customization options options for you to just do whatever you want with this thing. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Don't be too happy about that. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter where we post bonus content if you want to check that out. And we will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And spin. Stop, 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 stop. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! I look like Jesus! Listen to me! Thank you.